Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, following the success of the Mark II Da Vinci uh, Maiden Flight, I'm looking at the wing construction. Um, I'm not happy with it. I'll tell you why. On the original, um, unbeknownst to you, I had a problem with the trailing edge that as I tightened the covering, so it was pulling the trailing edge further and further in at the same time it was breaking the end of the ribs here uh, so I thought what can I do so on the port wing I doubled up the thickness of the trailing edge added another one eighth to it to stop it pulling in um, but the weak point is still these corners so I wanted to do something about that so what I've done I've made up a, another wing, um, this time using instead of two thicknesses of one eighth, um, essentially all around, I've used quarter inch and I've dropped the thickness of the ribs to sixteenth. Um, I've started to sand the trailing edge and I broke one rib, then I realised in fact the ribs are actually quite flimsy, they're, they're big ribs without cap strips or what have you. They're pretty flimsy, so I'm, I'm going to go back to one eighth. I also put gussets in here with a view to shaping them a little bit to really strif stiffen up this trailing edge, which it has done. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. I can't even bend it now. Uh, but unfortunately, the ribs are just too weak. So I'm going to rip it all apart. I'll keep the main spar and this little top spar if I can get it out clean. But I'm going to replace the ribs with one eighth. Uh, the, the same thing on the R1, the rib was pulling in sideways, again, the, it was shrinking so much, it was just um, misshaping it a little bit as it pulled in, so so I've just blocked in this, uh, or cut out this quarter inch rib, which looks quite heavy, but it's probably not a bad idea to have a really good rib next to the wing mounting. I thought if I'm going to remake it, then I ought to... I was never happy with the wing ribs having to, having to be angled slightly to fit in uh, with the leading edge and trailing edge. So what I've done is to rebate the rib I repaired on the end here into the leading edge. And if I do the same with the trailing edge, then it will do away with the um, gussets. Just have to make the ribs sort of five mil longer each end to, to allow for that. And then I can notch the lead and edge, which is a better thing. So that's where I'm up to right now. I'm just going to pull all this apart and leave this rib in. This rib's going to come out because it doesn't actually rebate in. Although I suppose in a way it's not the end of the world if I don't rebate that one. But I'll mark it on the plan for rebating. So... I'm going to pull out these ribs, too spindly, rebate the leading and trailing edges, cut new 8 inch ribs. It's coming along. I should have stuck with 1 8, but even if I'd stuck with 1 8, I still want to rebate them actually. So, uh, buoyed up by the success of the maiden flight, I'm happy to do that. Oh, you'll notice a new sticker on my cutting board DRCH stands for Dad's RC Hanger, which I'm um, a member of his channel and you get some free stickers lots of free stickers actually this is just one of them so that's taken um, pride of place on my cutting board as well check out dad's rc hanger if you don't know him right so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to pull all this apart and i'll come back to you when i've got it all clear i've got the slots cut and maybe even got the ribs ready to go in i've pulled the ribs out cleaned it all up and I'm ready to start cutting some ribs. Got a bit of one eight balls here, quite hard actually. And I'm gonna cut the ribs out and place them in one by one. Then I can finish off sanding this trailing edge. And also the good thing about it is, is the rib will actually go down. I've got to cut the slots. The ribs will go down into the trailing edge and it's gonna be very strong indeed. Let me cut the ribs out guys and we'll come back soon. Had a very pleasant hour cutting out 
R2, R3, R4. Hello, you lovely uh, subscribers and channel members. If you're not a member, check out the join button below. I just thought I'd start with this. <laughs> it's, um, <coughs> it's trailing edge for my um, one of the wings for the Da Vinci flyer. Uh, no, it's not. It's a leading edge. It's that long bit there. Look. And um, I had a big hole in the bottom of it when I cut it. A big chip out of the wood. So I filled it with balsa dust and and put on uh, CA and just wipe this across to sort of smooth it off. And as it did so, it's it's as one. So let's start by separating that. But I just have to make the notches for the wing ribs. So that's what I was doing before I discovered the big hole. And I'm going to do it using my little rib notcher. Homemade rib notcher. It's going to go in there, but down at a big angle. In case you missed them on the last video, they're just pieces of balsa that I'm using for the wing construction. You just stick a bit of sandpaper on the bottom and sand through. Now I think that's all the components cut now for a new wing. So I've got the port wing. Oh, one little thing I've done, look, I've put lightning holes in all the ribs. A little bit trickier to do it once the wing was built, but not impossible. So they don't lighten it very much, but they don't half look good, don't they? Especially what, yes, put covering it in clear film. Use weights. Soon coming up to the really fun part. What's that, Cliff? I hear you ask. Well, you might well ask. It's the curved main spar on the top. What I've got for the top main spar is 3 16th medium bolster. It's not hard, it's not soft. And the slots are marked off of the original one. And I'm just gonna, I don't even have to steam this, look, cause it's quite pliable. But if you don't steam it, then it's always fighting to get back into a straight shape and that could pull the wing out of shape a little bit. So I'm just going to go and run it over the kettle. No more than about a minute, just holding it like that, moving it up and down. Say that's the kettle top, steaming away. Put it into the cool air for a minute and that's it, it'll be bent. Just had to break off there for a minute. The uh, garden umbrella had um, blown across the garden. Uh, so I've just steamed it. Not even for a minute, very little time. But as you can see, I've got a nice bend in it now. It'll just hold itself. So all I'm going to do is to chamfer this end. This end has to be chamfered, same as that one was. And it's just going to sit on the top like that. That feels nice. Okay, so I've made up the little sanding block. And I'm going to go in there, first of all, and it's not straight this one it's at an angle as you can see so i've got to emulate that angle and slightly going up and down as well so let's have a go as long as this is aiming to where the next one is then it should be pretty much bang on it's nice next one That one is marked to there and that one is there. So yeah, we've got a nice curve going on. So let's just carry on. There we go. Beautiful. There we are. 
So I'll cut the other one and we'll get that glued in and it'll be drying. Okay. What are you doing, Cliff? Well, I'm cutting out. If, you, if you're um, a member of the channel, you'll already have seen a photograph uh, that I'm showing you now. And I think it's going to work, uh, but what I need to do is to make out some strut fixings for the uh, outer struts in the wing. So I've just drawn up a little sketch as to how I'm going to do it. Basically, I'm going to sandwich together. Um, it'll be sandwiched between these plates and the wing rib. That's what I'll show you it. So I've glued that in, stuck the film to it. I've cut the slot and I just need to uh, cover in the bottom. Here's a simulated strut, which will go in there, push down and it'll hold itself like that. And that's the same angle as uh, the centre wing struts, theory. <laughs> All right, guys, I've just been out to the shed and I've cut another another um, inner cabane strut. So I'll offer it up. Uh, just listening to Chris's RC hanger again, coming from his bunker. <laughs> Not. That um that doesn't look too bad. Uh, try this. Um, let's see. I've made one strut up as well. So let's put that one in first. I'll have to put this in with the um, peg to hold the top of it for the minute. So I haven't glued it in yet because I wanted to get the I wanted to get everything in place first before I committed. Before I get committed. That's nice. That actually fits. Look at that. That actually lines up beautiful front and back, which I was slightly concerned about. This is the first um, offering up now. This is it. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. That. Chris, I'm going to have to turn you down a minute. No, I'm not. I'm going to come back. I'm going to finish watching Chris and I'll come back, guys. Keep safe, keep safe. The most of all, have fun. And listen, thanks for popping by. I love each and every one of you. You have a great weekend now. And you, Chris. Chris. See ya. Bye. There he goes. There he goes. Good. Okay. So, where were we? We were offering up the top wing. Look at that. <laughs> I think the lightning holes work really well on the wing as well. I'm pleased I put that in. I think that's looking pretty cool. But then I'm mad. <laughs> if this flies as well as I hope. I was thinking um, putting an undercarriage on it. No, I'm loading up the weight now. I'll probably end up putting a bigger motor in it. But a nice thick plywood undercarriage would look nice, but got no real easy way of mounting it whereas a wire one could put a wire one in sort of bolt it around the um, firewall there but that would mean that the undercarriage is quite a long way forward so I was wondering perhaps if I could rake it back or just have it straight down and beef it up with plywood maybe turning into a beast uh, what I think I might do guys is to uh, stop the video here it's getting a bit long as usual and um, crack on with it off camera well I'll video it but anyway stop the video here and get what I've done uploaded for you all to have a good old laugh at and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you as usual for watching and commenting and 
if you want to join the channel hit the join button down below uh, what I'll probably do is to update this a little bit actually on the community tab just for you uh, members you can have a sneaky look see how it's coming along but for now thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video cheers guys cheers cheers